This video demonstrates the technical benefits of a car park jet thrust system compared to a ducted system when venting hot smoke from a vehicle fire. We are proud to celebrate over 100 years in the ventilation business. We start with a typical car park layout. The 2D drawing is converted into a 3D model by a highly skilled Flatwoods engineer. We can view, inspect and manipulate the model within the 3D environment. The car park comprises of a central stair core and ventilation shafts in all four corners. We are firstly going to design the ventilation system with ductwork in accordance with BS 7346 Part 7, an approved document B&F. The aim is to provide ventilation for both pollutants and smoke in the event of a fire. Here we are focusing on smoke ventilation only. Our objective for smoke control is to maintain tenable conditions and achieve 10 meters clear visibility to the seat of the fire. The car park is sprinkled with a maximum fire size of 4 megawatts. We are considering an alpha T squared growing fire with a fast growth rate. The extract rate is 38 meters cube per second, determined previously by smoke calculations. We have 20 extract grills and 36 supply grills. Here we can see the construction of the ductwork model. You will now see a visualisation from the CFD showing smoke spread. A fire has started inside a parked vehicle. The car fire model is shown at the top of the screen. After two minutes, hot smoke at high level is starting to reach the central stair core. After only three minutes the spread of smoke is notable. Four minutes into the fire and hot smoke at high level has encompassed both sides of the central stair core. After five minutes we can see smoke is spreading beyond the central core filling one half of the car park. You will now see a visualization from the CFD showing visibility through the smoke. The blue areas show visibility of greater than 20 meters. The red color in the scale to the right of the screen represents zero visibility. 10 meters visibility is shown in green. After one minute, the visibility at head height is still good. Two minutes into the fire and the smoke is starting to drop to low level. Three minutes and visibility is still around 10 meters. After four minutes, conditions are rapidly deteriorating. Visibility has dropped to around five meters near the fire. After five minutes, the visibility at head height has reduced to less than five meters. We are now going to demonstrate the effectiveness of a jet thrust fan system for exactly the same scenario. The aim and objective is the same as before. We have a four megawatt design fire positioned in the same location. The extract rate has not changed and remains at 38 meters cube per second. The ductwork is replaced entirely by 14 jet thrust fans, providing approximately 2.4 meters cube per second each through the fan. Here we can see the layout of the jet thrust fan system. The supply is located on one side of the car park, with the extract on the other. The vehicle entrance ramp is used for additional make-up air. 
We are now going to see inside the car park. In a moment you will see a smoke visualisation from the CFD, as shown previously for the ducted system. The fire starts inside the parked vehicle, as before. After two minutes we can see the jet thrust fan closest to the fire is starting to move smoke towards the extract point. Three minutes smoke has spread across the car park feeding into the other jet thrust fans. After four minutes smoke has reached the outer wall and is feeding into the extract grill. After five minutes smoke has spread across approximately one half of the car park, however less smoke than before is seen on the upstream side of the fans. You will now see a visualisation from the CFD model showing visibility through the smoke, as shown previously for the ducted system. As before, the blue areas represent visibility of greater than 20 metres. The red circles show jet thrust fans that are operating. After two minutes, smoke is starting to drop to lower levels. Visibility is still good in most areas. After three minutes, smoke is travelling away from the central core towards the jet thrust fans and the extract point. After four minutes, the majority of smoke is on the downstream side of the fans. Visibility of 10 metres or more is still achievable. After five minutes, the visibility to the seat of the fire is greater than 10 meters when approaching from the right hand side. You will now see a comparison between the two systems. We can see that the difference in visibility between the two systems is notable. With the jet thrust fans, the fire brigade can access the fire on one side with greater than 10 meters clear visibility. With the ducted system, however, the visibility has dropped to under 5 metres around the fire location. We are now going to compare other variables such as temperature and velocity. The images show the temperature in the upper hot layer after 5 minutes. The fire has reached its maximum heat output for both simulations. We will now see a comparison of airspeed between the jet thrust fan system and the ducting system. The air velocity is carefully checked by the CFD engineer to ensure compliance with the approved documents. Maximum inlet velocities of no more than 2 meters per second are required for compliance. The maximum velocities through a skate route should be no more than 5 meters per second. The benefits of a jet thrust fan system when venting hot smoke has been clearly demonstrated by this video. There is greater visibility through the smoke for the jet thrust fan system. There is also increased dilution of smoke with incoming air and reduction in local temperatures. We also have greater flexibility in the design. We eliminate leakage problems that occur with ducted systems. No duct work means smaller supply and extract fans so fans become quieter and more energy efficient. We have to consider the power consumption of the jet thrust fans, however, but it can be shown that for a car park this size, energy saving of between 15 to 20 percent can be achieved. There is greater potential for lower running costs by detection and monitoring of pollutants and intelligent control of fans. With the jet thrust system, we have the potential for lower total capital cost requiring less noise attenuation for the main fans and easier installation with other services. We are proud to introduce the largest range of car park fans in Europe. From jet thrust fans to induction thrust, slimline to compact, we have them all. 
please visit our website. Our newly developed brochure is available for download now, online. We hope you found the video interesting. For more information, please contact the author via the following contact. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.